Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I have another quilt block for you. This one is called the Double Z Block. This is another 12 inch block and here is my sample block. This is made with Lori Holt fabric so um, it's from probably two or three different lines of hers. I'm not exactly certain um, but you can see it's just all half square triangles so uh, this is a good beginner block. It really goes together pretty fast. So I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you how to make the double Z block. Here are the fabrics you need to make the double Z block. And they're all the same size. They're all four inch squares. And we need two A's, two B's, two C's, two D's, and then you need eight E squares and on the back of the E squares you'll want to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side. So um, this is made up of all half square triangles so we're going to go ahead and get started and make a whole bunch of half square triangles. Okay so I'm just going to start with my E squares. Um, I'm going to put them on the top and I'm just going to start sewing all of these together. Now these two are this fabric here is di um, directional. I have that one and the C fabric that are directional so I'm going to um, do something with them to kind of get them all to go in the same way and to do that I'm just going to lay them right sides up facing the same direction but what I'm going to do with the E squares. I get two of them here so I can show you. And on the wrong side I have the diagonal line going in opposite directions and I'm going to sew them that way. And that way I will have a little more chance, uh, have a more, that way I'll have a greater chance of positioning these the way I want. Like if I want them all facing the same direction um, this will help. So we'll see how that turns out but that's what I'm going to do with my directional prints. So I'm just going to sew a quarter inch away from that drawn line on both sides. So I'm just going to also just chain piece them all together so you'll see me just zipping right through one side of each one of these without stopping.
Okay, now I'm going to clip these apart and then I'm going to cut along the drawn line. And I'm going to press and then trim them down to measure three and a half inches. And of course you can use your rotary cutter to do this. Or I'm just going to use my scissors because they're handy. So I will have <laughs> a whole bunch of half square triangles. Okay, here are all the half square triangles and I just need to sort them out by color. And I think I've got them all stacked pretty much by color here. So with this one, I've got two that are darker than the other two. So I'm just going to put them opposite each other. So I'm going to start here in the corner and we're going to lay these out just according to the pattern. Now this one is one of the directional patterns. So I'm going to um, play around with this a little bit and decide if I want to have everything facing one direction or if I want to change that. And here I've got a couple of dog ears I need to trim off. So I'm going to grab them. I miss these when I trim these blocks down. Okay. Okay, so they're going to go like this. So you have three that are going to go towards the center and then this one's going to go out. So it makes kind of this hook design here. Now right now these two are facing the same direction but these two are not. So if I do this and this, these three are all facing the same direction but this one's facing opposite. So this pattern is really subtle in here. Let me get closer so you can see that. Okay, it's a subtle pattern. It's not real obvious. So, um, no, they can be adjusted. I really don't know that it's really going to matter. But I think I'll go ahead and put those three together and put this one that faces a different direction. I'm going to put that one out there. So, okay, so here is one corner of the block. And then the next one I'm going to do this pattern here. I need to get all these dog ears off. Okay, just follow the diagram for your layout. Now this pattern is also directional. It's a little bit more obvious. So those three are all going the same direction and this one's going to go opposite. So I've got that and we'll put the other lighter blue one in this corner. And This one is not directional, so we don't have to worry about anything there. Okay. And then the last corner. We're forming a pinwheel in the center here, which I'm sure you can see that. Okay, here we go. So there is the block. Now you can go ahead and sew this in rows or you can sew it in quadrants, however you want to do that. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it in quadrants. So I'm going to make four patches. That way I think I'll help me keep all of the pieces in order and not get them mixed up. So I'll sew four sections and then I'll sew those sections into rows and then sew the two rows together. Okay, these two pieces, um, these two seams here 
are going to meet so I'm going to nest those together so I pressed this seam towards the background and this one towards the print fabric and that way I can nest this seam bottom two okay I'm going to press the seams I'm going to press these seams and then I'll sew these two units together Okay, I'm going to nest this seam and I'm going to go ahead and put a pin in there and then sew it together. These two points here need to match. These two seams need to meet up. So let's see how I can do that. Here's the first quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and press and then I'm going to work on the next section and I'll keep going till I have them all four done and then I'll sew them into rows and then sew the two rows together. Okay, so I'm going to sew the two rows together and um, I'm going to match all the seams and pin them together. And I do have these seams pressed open, so um, I did that because it was easier to sew them together into units, but sometimes that makes it harder to match points. So we'll see how this goes. And also makes it harder to line up your seams, I think. But 
sometimes that's the best way to put a block together. Let me give it one more press and we'll take a look at the block. Okay, here is the completed block. So this one went together really fast. Um, it's all half square triangles, that's all that is. So um, it's just a matter of choosing colors you want to use and, and the layout. Um, I put it together in quadrants. You could do it in put it together in two rows. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I did have two fabrics that were um, directional. So um, I was able to get three pieces each to go in the same direction and then the fourth piece is turned a different way. So, um, you know, you could get them all going in the same direction if you cut them individually. So instead of doing the two at a time half square triangles if you just uh, cut this triangle out separately you could do that but I think that's a little bit harder and I really don't mind that these two pieces are turned different from the others in the block so that's all up to you you can you can work around that if you want to so anyway this is the double Z block okay that is it for the double Z block I think it turned out really nice it's amazing what you can do with just half square triangles. So um, this one is pretty quick. It's easy to do. Um, there's not a lot of points to match. Uh, there's the few, but it really does go together pretty easy. So this would be a good block for a beginner. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes up. And in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.